Just uh, making some pens here and all. What? Morning, guys. Just finished fueling her up. Just about melted the old truck down. Had a hot drown there for a little while. I got her fixed now. Let's give her the old wiggle biggle. Anyway, uh, I came up here last night uh, after swathing and uh, caught while well, cutting the flax. And I fired up that one there. I got it all set. And I finished up this little piece here and took in between the trials like there's that's a trial the next flag but this swath here would be just a filler basically so i took a couple out of there and did a test it was testing nine nine six i think and ten is dry but she's wet this morning holy man <clears throat> like look at the pods here Maybe the seeds are dry, but anyway, the uh, pods are very soft this morning, so I don't know. I don't know what it's. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait for a little while. They said the they said it's supposed to be cloudy all day with the smoke and stuff blowing in, but it's supposed to clear out later. So we're gonna wait till I don't know, like probably lunchtime maybe. But I don't have a, a truck up here yet, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go home. I'll take this truck home. Now everything's filled with fuel. I don't have to worry about that. And we got the service truck here. Now we moved all the shit out of here into that truck. And now that one just going to stay at the field wherever we're working. We don't got much left, but anyways, that's the plan. And I was going to use Dale's bin, but I thought, well, you know what? Now I got to push that whole road in. That's a whole mile to get into here. And if it uh, snows lots, I'll really be hating life. So what I think I'm going to do is bring the semi over and maybe one of the three tons. And we'll just combine into it, and I'll just haul this all home. That way I don't have to dick around later. So that's the plan. But, uh, yeah, we won't have the, uh, huh, we won't have the way wagon until later. So, what I'm going to do, i got to uh, go to town. We'll get some lunch. Uh, the kids are doing that homeschool crap right now. Ah, uh, kind of a fucking pain in the ass, but anyways. They're learning a little bit when the when our rural internet uh, keeps up. Sometimes they'll be learning in class there. <laughs> the stupid uh, laptop or the tablet or whatever just drops. Drops the signal. Good enough. That had enough for today. <clears throat> so anyway that's a plan like i said i got this guy set last night uh, i don't know i got about maybe half a hopper in there i got half a hopper in the other one so what we're gonna do like i say is i'm gonna go home and next time you see me i'll be back here with the uh semi and the grain trailer so and i think carter's gonna be here after lunch with the way wagon we can rip off those trials here real quick and yeah that's pretty much it so anyway i guess i will uh go home and get everything ready to go there set up some augers and yeah should be good to go so anyway we'll talk to you in a bit guys god damn it weather we only have 80 acres and you really want to screw a guy around son of a bitch Last night it was testing 9.6 and within like a half hour of our test it was going to start going the other way. 
So we stopped, filled the combines, whatever, good enough. Come back today, no rain, cloudy as hell, fucking back to 12th Street. Figure it out, figure it out. How are you now, boys? She's just dry, she's right on 10. So I'm working with the guys with, uh, in Patterson there. I hauled them enough dry stuff that they'll uh, let me haul right in there, so that's good. Ten is dry anyways, but I got a bit of uh, bit of uh, tougher stuff on the front hopper there. It's testing around 12-ish. So right now we're just picking up the uh, uh, we're picking up the trials right now. Actually, we're gonna do all this first, get it out of the way, then we don't have to worry about it. But she's uh, coming in there pretty good. So anyway, just gonna. This was my test here the other day, all this mess here. Well, I didn't spread with the shit, so. So that was what we're doing, but uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, Carter's over there getting ready, and then I'm gonna dump on him here right away, so. We'll get uh, the test cleaned up, clean up the rest, good enough. So, uh, we'll see you in a few then. All right, so the last, uh, We've done one, two, three, this is the fourth one. And the third, last one I did is so far the winner. At, uh, what is it, half a ton on point, point three eight acres. So we'll have to figure that out into uh, bushels per acre, but he can do that himself, so. That one was, uh, that one's the winner so far. So, I'll we'll have to see what this one brings, I guess, when we get there. I've been just letting it empty out the same every time. Knock him right off his fucking trailer. <laughs> there we go, old son. So, I'm gonna get here. I idle her down. And then I dump. Just like that. Dump it all at the same. So everybody gets a fighting chance. Should put it down in this hood. <laughs> anyway, it seems to be yielding pretty good. He, actually, all the varieties are doing pretty damn good, I think. So far, anyways. Shouldn't even say all the varieties. All the uh, all the pioneer breeds are doing pretty good so far. I haven't got into uh, any Brett Young yet, but uh, that's next, so we'll see what this one is. I'll bring you back in a few here. Good and you. Well, there's all the trials picked up. We're just going to pick up one that was in between with this combine and see if they're set pretty close to the same. Um, every one of those... Uh, Trials did over 40, so that's pretty good. Just rough math anyways. But like I say, I want to check this combine. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to run some through this combine and see if it's see if it's close to the same, if we're coming in with around the same weights. Then I know because that one's got uh, a lot better uh, grain loss monitor. <laughs> Uh, whatever, but I usually don't set the combine off the grain loss monitor anyways. You can't really. Not in canola. The seeds are too small to even read on there, so. They do have a uh, uh, small seed setting, but it, it's not the same. But uh, anyways, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just check it and see if it's close to the same and if it's close enough well then maybe a guy can tweak it a little bit or whatever we need to do so anyway I will uh, run some through this old girl and see where we come in at so we'll see you in a few well I must say for a 30 foot swath there's not much left on either side of the pickup so that's kind of nice coming in there pretty good I'm not going all that fast 
I had to speed my rotor up a little bit, open the concave, and uh, what else I do? Turn my wind up a little bit, just because there's so much product coming through there. So that's what I like about this old girl. Got the old power meter there. That thing is really nice. Usually when I tell Ashley to run it, I usually set this little red dial and then tell her, run her up to the red. And that's what she does. She's pretty fucking minty in the old combine world here. So anyway, I will keep going on here and uh, I don't know, we'll kind of figure out what the whole field yielded here hereafter. So uh, we're just going to keep thrashing. I got to try to get a load here by 8 o'clock so I can run it to town. So. Anyway, see you in a few. Alrighty guys, got a new. Well, we're gonna try and make another semi load here. I took, I uh, already took a load to town. Just in this little trial piece over here. I know you guys don't know where the fuck I am, but I kinda do. <coughs> uh, I did two rounds around this bush right up here. And cleaned up this area so we don't have to worry about driving back to the truck and trying to follow where swaths are and so on and whatever. So that's the thing, I guess. But we are going to head over to right over here and uh, see what the heck we can do here. I don't know how late we can go, if it's going to get tough on us or what the scoop is, but anyway that's the plan maybe we'll probably see some moose out here i'm thinking I've seen a couple here before when i have my phone on the charger but i guess i'll let you go for now i'm just gonna fire up here and oh baby don't spill my tim hortons anyway here's the swath this is where we're gonna start so Try and pick up this little area, kind of goes snakes around here a little bit, and then goes around over there, and then kind of back and forth once the guy gets going. So, anyway, we're gonna uh, get given her here. So, I will see you in a few, guys. See you in a few. Ah, shit, I'll let you, let you come along here for a little minute. Look at that dirty old bugger. Come on, get in there. There we go. Didn't even hear it go through. Not like the other night. Holy mackerel, was that ever making her growl. Oh, geez. Slow down. Slow down, old girl. I know you're hungry, but you got to slow her down a little bit. There we go. That's better. I like that. Oh, yeah. We got a bit of dust coming out the back. Not a whole lot, but there's some. A little bit, a little bit here and there. We got canola coming in the hopper, so that's good. Kind of clean up a little bit. I had to turn my uh, fan up a little bit after I did the trial. I didn't want to uh, didn't want to adjust it too much while we we're doing the trial, so I just left it where it was. Uh, after I got out and got into this other stuff, then I. Uh, Bed my fan up a little bit just to blow that shit off my top soup. Um, yeah, I didn't want to adjust it when we were in the trial because I wanted it all to have a kind of an equal fighting chance. So that was why I didn't piss around with it. So, but anyways, I better uh, pay attention what's going on here. So we'll see you in a little bit, I guess. Good enough. Well, full again here. That's kind of good. Won't be long, and I'll be heading to the truck. So that's all right. I don't know what the hell's going on here. There's so many loop de loops and shit in here. It's not even funny. I'm gonna guess that he's probably gonna bring that one. So I don't know. Guess we take this guy. Oh boy! Woohoo! No, nope, that made her snort. <coughs> Freaking dust. 
anyway, keep on chewing here. Keep on a chewing. Actually, going through pretty good yet. I figured with the wind dying down like that, it'd be kind of shitty, but it's not so bad. Oh well, such is life. I do a freaking uh, uh, live stream here, but my data is really out of control because because uh, of the kids being on um, uh, what do you call it? homeschooling or whatever with the uh, pandemic coronavirus or whatever. So they are, uh, with them being on the internet all the time, they've been using up quite a bit of data. So I'll wait till I reset. Call it a day. Anyway, I gotta go dump here. So let's go dump, I guess. I'll see you in a bit when I get there. Hammer down, boys. Hammer down. Not today, Junior. Not today. That's what happens when you got a AFX rotor and you crank the pump up. Good new, buddy, good new. There we go. Talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Woo, boy! Look at that fucker just humping in there. Nice! Fucking nice! Woo, woo, woo! Well, we're getting her done, boys. Getting her done. Gotta go back. He's got the other one full over there, too. I just got it sitting over there, so... I'll go dump it when I get him empty, and, uh... Yeah, I'll go hop with that one, then, I guess. Right now would be the time. I guess I didn't even have my brake on. Oh, well, you don't need a brake. Yeah. All right. See you in a few. I'm gonna go get the other machine there, boys. There, boy. Good enough. Well, there we go, boys. Canola is done. Emptying out the hoppers. That'll be it. So this load will put us a little over 40 bushel of the acre. So that's not too bad. For this year, you get up in these hills like this in here. I don't know if you can really tell, it's pretty steep. I'm about level with those trees here. But, uh, anyway. So, I'm not going to complain with that. That's pretty much a normal year. So, anyway, good enough. So, we will... Maybe try and start the flax tomorrow. We'll see how things go, but I will let you know anyway. So, seeing a few here, boys. Seeing a few. Got her done, these guys. Nice. Okay, I'll talk to you in a bit here, guys. Anyway, guys, that's uh, probably enough video for today. I'd like to get this uploaded here, so I'm probably gonna just make it for what I got. So. Um, in one of these videos, I don't think it's going to be this one, but one of these videos coming up here, uh, we'll get all the yield data from this trial, the yield data from the wheat trial, and so on and whatever. And then we'll end up throwing it into the, uh, into one of the, uh, videos here. So, just so you guys know what everything was and kind of what we did here, so. Um, the wheat was more for our sake, but the, uh, canola one was for the Pioneer, uh, canola guys. They had a trial for us there, so. So that worked out pretty good. I think most of that stuff did over 40, too, so whatever. I'm not too upset about, uh, having a 40 bushel, uh, canola crop. Like I said, the one at home went about 44. This one about 40. The other one went about 37, so whatever. I always like to have a 50, but we didn't have the rain, so. Anyway, 
that'll be it for now so thanks for watching give me the thumbs up subscribe and uh yeah good enough so we'll talk to you in the next one thanks for watching oh i just love that sound <laughs>